and we are officially live. Man, what's up, Mitch? It's been a little while. <laughs> you bet, Mike. It must be uh, time for another big event. Must be time again for this crazy little company that's that's not supposed to get together, right? This this cloud company, but we're actually getting together again for the 2019 EXP shareholders meeting, and uh, we're going to dive into that a little bit today with you. Um, what you uh, what you can expect if you attend, and what you're missing out on if you don't. Yep, yep, you bet. It uh, feels like well, we just got done with an event, and it's uh, time for another one. You know, it's interesting. Uh, our shareholder summit, which is coming up really fast, will have just about double the amount of people we had last year. You know, this this event only a few years ago was a couple hundred people with like, you know, a projector on a screen. And now, now it's a big deal. You know, you, know I, I, you just made me think of something because I wonder actually how much we've grown just since October, since we went to EXPCon. I bet, I bet we've like, I, I bet we're, we're, we're infinitely bigger. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we're over, uh, uh, well over 18,000 agents right now. So, um, you know, we, we keep on growing and, you know, that's the beauty of our company is that we can talk to each other all day in EXP world and on uh, workplace. But a couple of times a year we get together. Um, you know, one of my favorite things is always when people just recognize voices and they run up and give each other a big hug because we get to talk to each other all year long. But, you know, a lot of the reason that uh, many folks went into real estate is because of those one on one uh, relationship. So it's, it's great to get together and do that as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. It, 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 it's, um, it's good to reconnect and just kind of see everybody and, and be able to share ideas and network and stuff. It's just, it, it's, 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 I think it's an amazing opportunity. So, you know, you've been, you've been at the company obviously for a little while now and you've, yeah. you've been to one of these events before, but to maybe to somebody that's, you know, on the outside looking in, um, what can you expect? Yeah, well, the, the shareholder summit, and we call it that because the vast majority of our attendees, agents, are shareholders in the company. So it's a little bit more business focused. Um, we try to lay out for our guests what's going on with the company, which used to be simply eXp Realty. But now we have Verbella and some other things going on. So we'll uh, cover that. So we kind of go through the business of eXp and eXp World Holdings. But then we also have all sorts of kind of fun and surprises. Uh, some of the things we love to do at our other event, EXPCon, like uh, uh, RE Bar Camp, X Camp will be at this event, um, and so many other things. So it's a combination of great content. So anybody in the audience walks away charged up and knows more, but also giving everybody a chance to talk to each other as well. Yeah. So how is this, like, how is it different than any other event? I mean, like, we, obviously, we, we, in October, we all met in New Orleans. We had a great time. We learned a lot. Um, but how contrast the two events? I mean, obviously, with the exception of the name. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes it's hard for me to figure it out, obviously, Mike. <laughs> but um, EXPCon is a little bit more about um, agents talking to agents. Sure, we give kind of company updates, but it's a little bit more of agents teaching agents, whereas uh, shareholder is, for instance, we have the board of directors on stage at, at shareholder. Uh, you'll hear about what's going on in international and some of our other new ventures. So shareholder, again, is just a little bit more uh, business focused on learning from the company. And I would say EXPCon is almost the company learning from agents. Yeah. So tell me, like, what is it, what, what goes in into an event, an event like this? Like, I, I'm sure there's lots of preparation and a lot of stuff as an agent that we don't see behind the scenes. So I'm curious, like what, what, and you're probably frantically running around with a chicken, like your head cut off, right? Most of the time, but we see column you right now on the other side of the camera, but tell us what goes into an event like this. Yeah. I mean, uh, thanks for asking Mike. I mean, we have a, a, a great small marketing team at EXP and all year long we do marketing things, right? And then we clone ourselves for about four months of the year to work on all these different events. And, you know, there's a number of things that, that go into it. Uh, first of all, we want it to be at a, uh, a a price or a cost that makes you feel good when you walk away. And a lot goes into that. It's negotiating with the right properties. It's, you know, how much food and beverage are we going to do? What do we need to do on stage? And what do we do just to kind of, you know, basically cover the cost. So when you're there and you walk away, you're like, it was worth every penny I spent. Yeah. And, and most people like you, Mike, I know say, Hey, if I just get one referral, 
I've, I've paid for the whole event or if I learn something from somebody. But, but we take it much deeper than that. I always kind of joke at these events that we could probably just give you shrimp and drinks all day and you'd be <laughs> pretty happy, right? But, but we think you actually expect a little bit more. And so we uh, take the content super, uh, uh, we think about the content a lot. And we also think about uh, kind of fun and surprises as well. And I, I want to be able to reveal at least one surprise that we have not put on Workplace yet uh, for you today. Oh, exciting, man. Yeah, that, that's that's going to be fun. So, uh, all right. So the event starts on Tuesday, right? It, 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 it's, uh, it, it starts with a happy hour. And I believe that starts at 5 or 5.30? Yeah, our uh, early arrival reception starts at 5.30 on Tuesday. So uh, we know a lot of people be coming in. Uh, we'll have people when you go to the Rose and Shingle Creek, if you go uh, to check into your room, we'll have some uh, wonderful Orlando agents that'll be there to kind of help you find your way if you have any questions. And then you can go pick up your uh, registration materials later that afternoon and then go to the early arrival reception, which will be outside. So for those of you uh, that know about heat and humidity, we will be outside for the opening night early arrival reception at 530. <laughs> it, come rain or shine, right? We're, we're, we're outside. Uh, we will find a way to get it done. Don't worry about that. Well, we got it done at, uh, at EXPCon for sure. The rain did not deter us. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me about that, Mike. Yeah, it just keeps the bar bill down, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> you guys are probably scrambling last minute, right, to get huge tents put up. Yeah, you know, we met, everybody had a great time. You know, every, the funny thing is nobody talks about the rain anymore. They just talk about the crazy band and uh, everything else we had going on. So that 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 was a lot of fun. Yep, no, it, it absolutely was fun. Okay, so so – 5.30, the, the happy hour starts at 5.30. Then you can wake up on Wednesday morning. And what does the schedule look like that day, Mitch? Yeah, yeah, you can get up early a Wednesday morning and hopefully participate in our Extend a Hand uh, Fund Run and Walk. We've got a ton of people signed up for that. Uh, by the way, if uh, some people are watching this before the event and still want to get in, they just need to go to expshareholdersummit.com and they can still register for that run. But obviously that's an optional thing to help out uh, the, our extend the hand effort. And then that morning on Wednesday, from about 8.30 till noon, we have uh, X Camp or RE Bar Camp. And that is just craziness. We did this at EXPCon and basically the, the crowd decides at that moment what they want to talk about in what room they want to talk about it. And we just make it happen. Yeah. And that will go uh, from about, again, uh, 8.30 till, till noon and then you've got some time to eat before the general session starts uh, for real on Wednesday afternoon. Okay. And then the general session I, looks like what? Um, I'll give you a couple uh, uh, tips on things that are going to be in the general session. Um, I'll just give you some titles. Here are some titles. Of, I have it all right here, but I'm not supposed to show it to anybody yet. So there it is. Um, Wednesday afternoon, uh, tomorrow is today with Glenn Sanford. It's a Small World with Jason Gessling and Deborah Stevens. Growing Up with uh, our co-presidents. Brave New Work, The Other Side of Verbella, and my favorite title of all, From Here to Externity. Uh, that will all happen uh, Wednesday afternoon. And then Wednesday evening, we have our larger kind of party event, which is our shareholder summit reception. And that will be inside on uh, Wednesday at 5.30. And, and by the way, Mike, we purposely do our evening events. We start them pretty early and we end them pretty early because a lot of you folks have said, hey, I'm only in Orlando for like one or two nights. Can, can I have a little free time to go do something? Yeah. Uh, the Rosen Shingle Creek has like five or six restaurants. There's unbelievable food, obviously, all over Orlando. Some people will still hit Disney that night. So we try to get things done early enough that you can then do whatever you want to. Awesome. Man, that sounds fun. Okay, so we, we we put a bow on Tuesday night, and then we wake up on Wednesday. And what is yeah, that? We, like? Yeah, we just actually we just covered Wednesday. That was the general session. Got it. Wednesday. X camp in the morning. Let's talk about Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Yes. Thursday, we give you a choice. That's my symbol for choice. Okay. Uh, when or uh, Thursday morning, there's two tracks. You can either go with uh, international sales legend Tom Hopkins, and he'll be running something all Thursday morning. Or this amazing group called The Ready. They're not an 80s rock band. They are a organizational development group that we as a company have been working with uh, 
their uh, their founder. Uh, Aaron has a, a book many of us have talked about, Brave New Work, mm -hmm. and he'll be there talking about the book as well as running a special session. If you're running a team and you're like, how do I organizationally do things the right way? Um, you'll want to go to that, that track. Then we have lunch on Thursday, and then we go back into the general session where we'll hear from our board members, we'll hear from our icons. Um, we will then hear from our kind of leadership team to kind of wrap up and do some things. And then my favorite image of all, let's get this nice and close here so you can see it. Uh, and it's time for the ESG yes. leadership poolside chat. Love so it. There it is. Love it. And, uh, and I see you with the ball cap on, right? <laughs> you know, I look, I, you know, there, there I am there, Mike, right? There I am. <laughs> and here, here I am now. There's not a whole lot of difference. Yeah. There. So uh, that'll be a lot of fun. And, and I, I told you I want to tell you about a surprise. So I'm going to give you a surprise that this is not in workplace. It's not in world. I'm not even sure Glenn Sanford knows about this. Uh -oh, um, all right. Let's We're going to have our first ever um, EXP swag pop-up store at the event. No uh, way. We always try to give you good stuff, but so many of you are like, I want more. So uh, we're going to have a pop-up store with a variety of things. If you want to take things back with you or just look at things and then order when you get back, uh, we'll have a, a pop-up store there that I'm excited about. And there's two other surprises that I want to tell you about, but... I'm not even telling Glenn Sanford about either of these two, so I'm not going to tell you. But let's okay. just say we even have some surprises in store for our founder when he's at the event. So, so we got to be three, right? If you want to yeah. get the other two, you got to attend the event. You, you better be there yeah. to uh, to see what happens. And let me just say, um, I know I'm going to surprise Glenn at least once, and I I'm going to surprise him twice. He'll like at least one of the surprises. The other one, he may say, "Did I pay for that?" But it'll all work out. <laughs> All right, so there's the tease, ladies and gentlemen. That's the tease. You got to come to the event. Yeah. So, so the poolside chat. I, I'm curious, like, what, what, if if you come to the poolside chat, what does that look like? I mean, what, what, what are you guys going to be doing there? <laughs> that's a good question. Like, is it going to be like some like MTV Spring Break sort right. of thing? Yeah, or is it that, right, right. I'm not sure it's going to look like that. I mean, our last few events, we've had this uh, organic thing happen, Mike, where at the end people kind of line up to go across the stage and shake our hands and thank us, which I like it makes the hair stand up on the back of my neck. And I was like, well, instead of doing that, let's all just hang out at the pool. Yeah. So uh, certain members of our leadership team will have a brightly colored cap on. Let me just right. give everybody watching right now, if you're at the event and you see someone with the bright cap, that's the person to go find because they have the drink tickets. <laughs> and they're the one that's, that's going to take care of you. And it's not just about having a cocktail. They're going to have those tickets because they want to use that as an excuse to learn more about you and get feedback from you, whether it's about the event or how your business is going. And we're just going to be hanging out by the pool. You know, I'll have a stack of these drink tickets in my, my pretend pocket. And right. my goal is to say, yeah, man, I'd love to buy you a drink, but I, I don't know you. Let's sit down and talk. Yeah. So you're saying make friends with the the people with the lightly colored hats. You want to make friends with those people, right? Yeah. You probably know those people already. I believe there'll be some sort of neon cap thing. And okay. uh, you know, like you don't have to suck up to them to get a drink ticket. But seriously, we just want to say hi and 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 learn more about you and uh, and hang out for a while. Yeah. No, that's really cool, man. So, so the, the poolside chat. I think that actually ends in it. It ends up closing out the event. Correct. Yep, that, that's it. Okay. Cool, and then again, uh, you have Thursday night. That's usually when I end up staying at the pool and sleeping for about seven hours. Yeah. Uh, my favorite uh, event I ever did, I'll tell you about quickly, Mike. Uh, I was on stage the whole time. I was really happy. We really convinced everybody to use social media a lot. And I went to sleep at the pool that afternoon. And when I woke up, my phone was burning hot from all these notifications and someone had taken a picture of me sleeping at the pool and hit the hashtag for the event with it. And uh, let's just say if I'm sleeping at the pool, you won't know it's me this year. Were you sleeping or were you passed out? Uh, one of the two. It's hard, hard to say. It all feels the same by the time we're done. Man, Mitch, that's awesome. Is there anything that I didn't ask you that I should have? Let me think about something else fun that I want everybody uh, uh, to know about. Uh, we'll be doing some special things for our, our icons. 
so if you're an icon, make sure you're checking that out uh, in, in Workplace. Uh, I'm really excited in some of the sessions to learn. Um, for instance, I think a lot of people have a lot of questions about where we're going internationally. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that there. I know we have, I think, at least three or four announcements, so press releases that'll all happen next week. And for those that cannot make it, we're going to make sure that those people are involved too. We have some fun uh, surprises to announce before the event that even if you can't be there, uh, hopefully you'll feel like you're, you're part of the fun. Awesome, man. Well, I am so excited. I can't wait. I can't wait to, uh, to get down there and and have some fun and learn. And uh, Mitch, as as always, I, I really, really appreciate you taking some time out of your busy day to jump on and talk to our audience. Yeah, yeah, you bet. And for your audience, Mike, for those of you that will be at the event, come up to me during a break and say, Mitch, I saw you uh, with Mike on the podcast and you look nothing like your avatar. Please come up and tell me that. <laughs> you got it, my friend. Well, thanks so much. You bet. We'll see you, see you very soon. All right, bitch. Thanks, man.